Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with Jonathan. Today, we are going somewhere new. I know it's very rare. Um, I launched a rocket in December of last year. It is now June, and it's finally refueled and ready to go. I've stopped distracting myself, and yeah, so it's good. So I've looked up the really awesome interplanetary transfer website, and it's told me that I need to be, or my target needs to be, 96 degrees ahead of me, which is Jill. That's right, we're going to the Julian system, and there's lots to see, where there's an enormous green gas giant, and one, two, three, four, five moons to see, so we need to get there, and we need to be going this way around the planet. I am... Um, my friend Tom and I went here maybe a month ago, maybe two months ago, uh, on his game, and I had to leave because I had work, and uh, I didn't think about it, and we accidentally made it so he's going the opposite direction around the planet, and so he can't really get to anything. My bad. So hopefully we won't do it this time. So who are we taking, and what are we taking? to Jill. Well, we have... Bum, 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 bum. Uh, if I can find it. Where is it gone? Hello? I don't see it. The Pluto. We're going to jump into it right now. So, this ship weighs a lot. <laughs> oh my god. 1,337 tons. It has four landers, two planes. I think it's 11 Kerbals. Hold on, I wrote a list of which Kerbals. We've got, uh, assuming the game is still recording while it's loading. One moment, one moment, don't por favor, see? See? Um, nearly, nearly. Come on, you can do it. Seven frames a second, yep, we're loading. Okay, so we are joined by, here's the ship. Thumb girl, Burbles, um, my favorite. Jeb, Bill, Eric, Wilming, Wolfred, Chadberry, Milbro, Dilmay, L, Tommy, Bob, Ribkin, and John Moore. Kerman. Yep, we are ready to go. So, first thing I'm gonna do. Wait, uh, so we are all full up. It has 89,000 units of liquid fuel. It has. Lots of nuclear engines. It's going to be slow, but it's hopefully not going to be impossible. Hopefully they don't die. Anyway, I'm just going to stop blabbering and I'm going to plan the maneuver. <laughs> okay, and then we want that side of Jill. Brilliant. How close is that going to be? Not very, actually. Oh, 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 crap. It'd be a really nice way if you could just click a button and bring up the maneuver. I wonder if you can just, like, do this. Is that going to bring it? No, it won't bring it up. Oh, arse. Oh, arse. Arse, arse, arse. Arstix Megoria. That's not a thing, is it? So, uh, let's go like this. When is that going to be, by the way? Two years! Space is big. So 1.9 billion meters. Billion dollars. 1.6. Basically, I want that PE to be as low as possible. But we still got to do an inclination change, so yeah. Probably not going to. Okay. 1.4 is probably. I'll just give it a smidgen. Cool, we'll do that, and then when we get further out, or we've at least left Kerbin's influence, I will do an orbital adjustment something, burn something. Cool, so we need to do one th
and we're back. So even though I tried really hard and thought I did it right, um, I thought I was going the right way around the planet, but apparently not. So what I'm currently doing is adjusting my course to go the correct way around Jewel. And hopefully, according to the dotted line, my plan uh, is to come in close to Jewel, maybe a bit of error breaking, and then end up at Lathe where I want to go. But there's a small, not so small problem. Um, at the very top, the second ring in, the, uh, that, that, that's Tylo, that, that moon that I'm currently getting an encounter with. Yep, see there, Tylo encounter. It wouldn't go away. It's just the timing, the way it was flying in. I don't know why, but, oh, getting another Lathe encounter there, but I kept, I kept hitting Tylo. And, uh, Tylo's gravity, of course, is fleeing me out again, and so, okay, I'm, hold on, it's just about to swing around to the other side of Jill, which is great. Um... So anyways, yeah, so I keep getting a Tylo encounter, really frustrating, but eventually it goes away, which is great. So I don't come close to Tylo, I do what I want, I come in, I skim a little bit of Jewel, that's the green, obviously, you know, shot in the middle, and I end up at Lathe, just where I was planning to. Fantastic, or at least that's what I thought was going to happen. You'll have to wait and see what happens, but yeah... It all looks so good. See, look, the blue line is my course, obviously. Um, and the Tylo encounter goes away. And... Bam! Coming in, ending at length. Perfect. Or at least I thought it was perfect. Yeah. So, here I am, we're coming into Jewel, we can see Lathe there on the outside, everybody's looking good, um, I'm starting to plan my maneuver when I get to Lathe, but watch where my spaceship is right now, watch my blue line, and watch Tylo, it's getting close, very close, turns out, I'm, oh, and turns out I was wrong, it got too close to Tylo, and surprise! Yeah, so we've dropped out of time warp, and we are right next to Tylo, and I just crap my pants, and I quickly run to check, and it says I'm going to get down to something like 5,000 meters on Tylo. Guess what? The highest point on Tylo is not 5,000 meters, it's 11,000, which means these kerbals are quite possibly going to die. A horrible, painful, smashing death on the surface of Tylo instead of going to Lathe and surviving like I planned. Hmm. But I have a quick save, so it's okay. And look, if I try, if I somehow survive this maneuver, I am skipping back out. I'm not getting to Jewel. I am going nowhere. It's all over Rover. You can kiss those couples goodbye. And I needed to change my pants. Yeah. So what did I do? Well, first of all, I see how low I get. Here we come. We are coming into Tylo, not Lathe. Oh, good God. We're going to get down to 5,900 meters. Oh, I'm going to hit a mountain or a crater and they're all going to die. Or are they? Are we going to be lucky? I don't know. We're about to. Oh, God. We're about to find out. Um, 50,000, 40,000, 30,000. Yep. Come up. Time warp. Time warp. 29,000. I like to apologize for the way that um, the terrain's being visualized. It was really dark uh, when I was recording this. Obviously, we're on the dark side of the moon. Yeah, um, I'm going to have to research better ways of enhancing the visuals because you're getting a lot of color smear, I guess the word is. But um, you can see how close we are. You can see the, ter you can see the terrain. Um, yeah, so I had a save game. Um, at this point, so I can always go back and try and avoid Tyler, and I do actually try a couple of times. Um, look at the vertical um, vertical speed indicator; it's like way, like it's all the way over. We're going down as quickly as it can measure, pretty much. Um, and in a minute, when we get down to less than seven thousand, just watch that vertical indicator on the left hand side of the bottom because you're about to see it move fast, really fast. Um so 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 I do this pass this is the first time I've done this pass. I do this pass again after trying to adjust the course to try and get away from Tylo, but I don't have much luck. And 
I go to do it, I think it was the third time. And I think, okay, third time, I can do this. And then instead of pressing F10 or F11 to load the game, I press F5 and save over my quick save. Which means I'm committed! Yay! I'm committed to get this close to Tylo. Um, and skip out. And, yeah, as I discover in a moment, um, as I discover in a moment, it's at least another 2,000 something, 2,800 Delta V to try and get an orbit around you all. I just didn't think I was going to get an orbit. So, yeah, watching, watch, uh, hold on, watching, yeah, we're down to 7,000 meters. The highest point's 11,000. We could just as easily slam into the side of the crater right now. Um, I'm really tense. I'm really worried. Um, the Kerbals look extremely excited. <laughs> they shouldn't be. 6,700. Oh god, we are like lower than some of those hills. 6,400. Still going down. It's something like 100 meters per second, I think that it is. On the replay, it's difficult to read the dial. The lights are on. 6,200. 6,000. 100. Doesn't Joe look pretty? And the horror of the terrain. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just I just assumed they were all going to die. <laughs> Six months of refueling. Watch the vertical airspeed indicator. Left hand side. Oh, 10 meters per second. Wham! Going straight back up. Oh, it is close. It is so close. Screenshot just because it can. So we are now going up. Hopefully we don't didn't hit anything. Don't hit anything all the way up. I'll just let you know we didn't. I know I just blew this whole clip, but we didn't. Um, so the next thing you're gonna see is me desperately trying to slam on the brakes, me trying to get an orbit around Jewel to not, you know, skip these guys out and have them have to return home with nothing but photos of how amazing Tyler looks from their spacecraft. Yeah, so you're about to see me desperately try and get an orbit around Joel, and with the help of aero braking, which you're going to see in a second, I was able to do a good job, an amazingly good job, considering um, I had to cope with the gravity, the gravity kick that that Talo just gave me. Yeah, so there's my course. I'm now just going to skip out. I'm going nowhere fast. Why well, am going? somewhere fast, but not where I want to go. See? Yay for Tyler and Kanta. Watch out for them. Oh my god, they're awful. Yeah. Ta-da. Jewel. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I didn't think that would work. I thought we'd be just flinged out again, but no, we've made it to Jewel. Sorry. So I managed to get an orbit around Jewel. Fantastic, awesome, amazing. And I didn't record it because, well, you know, but I, after this uh, clip, I did approximately 17 aero braking missions on Jill to get my orbit nice and close and regular. Be happy I did make you watch that.
thanks to a bit of course correction, um, I we've been able to make it so that oh, this jewel isn't that look nice. So our course currently is going to go straight over the top of lathe, and hopefully uh, we're going to encounter the atmosphere. Jules, uh, sorry, lathe's atmosphere starts at fifty-five thousand, and we're going to go down to something like thirty-nine. I think it's at um. Yeah, so we're going to use the atmosphere to slow down and hopefully make a nice orbit around Lathe without, you know, slipping into the atmosphere and crashing and killing everyone. So that's the plan. Yay! That's the plan. I was hoping for an equatorial orbit around Chill, but that yeah, is not going to happen. Ooh, look, shiny cinematic. Um, yeah, I was hoping for a nice equatorial orbit around Lathe, but... Honestly, at this point, after the hassle we've had with Talo, I just don't care anymore. I really don't. I just want to get these guys to live, and then don't worry about the next stage when I get to it. So, yeah, what is, uh, yeah unfortunately on the replay, I cannot read the numbers, um, so you guys know more than I do how low we're going to get. So, hopefully this goes nice and circular. I don't care that it's a polar orbit around Lathe. I just want to I just want to get there. I want to get these guys to get somewhere fun where we can do some exploring. Yay, exploring. Or not dying. Yeah. So, we're about to slip. Yeah, we have slipped into Lathe's atmosphere. We're getting a bit of atmospheric drag. Yay for atmospheric drag queens. That's, that's not right. Um, yeah, so we're, we're slowing down. Still haven't gone orbital yet. Don't have a lot of fuel left. Um, not a lot of fuel at all. I mean, nuclear engines are amazing. They're really efficient. My god, go nuclear engines. They're awesome. Um, but, but when they're out of fuel, they're out of fuel. And up. Okay, so we're still going down. That's great. We're still going down. A couple more screenies, maybe. Yeah, slowing down. Getting to lathe. Alright, now we're in that. The error breaking didn't work. I've got all the engines going right now because... I think, um... Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I didn't go on. I'm so annoyed. I've even switched on the main engine, which is attached, like the middle engine, which is attached to the other engines. Um, it's the if this efficient engine. It's like chewing through fuel. I don't care anymore. I don't care what it takes. This is going orbital. We are going. This is where we're going. You know, we've got practically no fuel left. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. We're not leaving. We are not leaving. I'm angry. <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore. By God, we're getting to leave. Woohoo! It is orbital. Thank goodness. Um, that is so good. And sure, okay. At the moment we're going to hit the planet, but I go up to the uh, the apoapsis, I turn out the orbit, and yay, we made it to Lathe. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Yay, woo! Woo, made it to Lathe, made it to Lathe. Yay, finally.